you've been shot twice. Mm-hmm. But was it two separate occasions? Yep, two separate occasions. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, where did you get shot both times? In the ankle and in the calf and the same leg in my left leg. Okay. All right, so, I mean, occasionally people get shot in the leg and it ends up traveling and a person dies, but usually a shot like that doesn't kill you. So, so you weren't really worried that you were going to die from, from that gun, the gunshot? No, nah, not really. I ain't going to lie to you. When I, got shot, when I got shot the second time, no, when I got shot the first time, shit, I went to a party as soon as I got out the hospital. I went to the hospital, they wrapped my leg up, shit, I went to Lil J party, shit, I wasn't even worried. Second time I got shot, shit. No, that was the second time, wasn't it? Right, the second time I got shot, I went to Lil J party. First time I got shot, I was with a little bitch, shit. Oh, my mama. I was with a little bitch, shit. I was just coming out the crib on my mama. Fresh as hell. <laughs> I was like, I do my dog this. I'm telling you, as soon as I get in the car, little bitch, hit the corner, spot me. I'm phone up, shot the car up and shit. You know what I'm saying? It was what it was. Got out the hospital, got some head, ate me some food, smoked me some weed, went to sleep, woke up, got some more head, went outside, and I was on crutches. The first time you get shot, you stay in Chicago. Mm -hmm. The second time you get shot, you're still in Chicago. Mm -hmm. So you talk about how you know, how much you value your life and how, how careful you are and how you know people want to hurt you, but yet you're still in the same area where these shootings are happening. Like, nah, why, why see, not move? See, see, what it was, I went in the same area. It, like I said, you put yourself in somewhere you don't want to be, then you got to be ready for what's coming. You feel me? I was just in the wrong place. I wasn't supposed to be there. And I knew I wasn't supposed to be there. You feel me? But the second time I got shot, I, I, I was leaving a liquor store. You know, motherfucker followed me. I ain't see it coming. You feel me? Motherfucker got up on me. I'm just glad they ain't killed me. You feel me? Motherfucker shot me in the leg. Hey, went to the hospital, got it wrapped up, went to the party. Okay, but it's still Chicago both times, right? Yeah, it's still in Chicago both times. Okay, so so what I'm saying is, you see a lot of a lot of Chicago artists. Who just leave Chicago? You know, um, you know, you see, you see Chief Keef. He live in Calabasas, around where I live. You don't, you don't see Chief Keef back in Chicago anymore. I, I don't remember the last time I've heard of Chief Keef in Chicago. Uh, you know, Dirk, I think, moved to Atlanta. Um, you know, what was it King Yellow? I think moved to what was it, Vegas or something? Like, you see, you know. Bibby and Herb, I don't think that they really stay in Chicago all that often anymore either. Like, mm -hmm. why, why stay in Chicago when these types of shootings are happening? See, what it is with me, like, I got more in Chicago probably than they got more in Chicago. Like, it's shit that I got to make sure I take care of here first before I do anything. Like, you feel me? Like, and plus, I ain't... I ain't the type of motherfucker that want to go move to another city because I don't, I don't trust nobody. You feel me? I don't trust new people. I don't want to hang around new people. I don't want no new friends because I don't trust nobody. Yeah, motherfucker could turn fake on you anywhere. You can die anywhere. You can get shot anywhere. You feel me? But it's just like in Chicago, I know better. You feel me? Like I know what to do and what don't to do and what not to do. You feel me? And it's like, now how I move around, shit, I'm safe, you feel me? I ain't going to say too much, but, you know what I'm saying? I'm groovy. And plus, like you just said, I ain't going to put my boy Yellow in their predicament. But everybody besides Yellow, like, them niggas is real rappers. You feel me? Like, them niggas scared. It ain't because they got money and move. A lot of niggas will tell you it's because I got money. I'm rich. Why I gotta be in Chicago? No, you're scared. You in these songs and shit, rapping and shit, but you really scared. That's why you got the fuck out of Chicago, cause you a bitch. The, the, the person, the person who ain't scared and ends up dying, and ends up with their name, you know, with their face on a T-shirt, as opposed to the person who says, you know something, I'm not gonna keep fighting this fight. I'm gonna move, 
They could say I'm scared, but, but like, I'm still alive. I know, I know what you're saying, but like I told you, the way I move is different from them niggas. I hang with a bunch of retarded motherfuckers. You feel me? And, and the way it's set up, like, we ready for whatever now. I mean, whatever it is, it is. You feel me? I make money every day. You feel me? As long as my people straight, that's all that really matter. I don't got to move. I don't got to go nowhere. You feel me? I can stay right here in Chicago. But it's like, when I move, you, you'll you never know it's me unless I let you know it's me. I'm like a ghost. You can't see me. I see you, but you don't see me. You feel me? Yeah, well, I, I mean, I interviewed Big Glow two days before he was murdered. And, you know, and like I, I, I said, know, I know, I know y'all got issues with he that was crew, but... He, he was somewhere he wasn't supposed to be. He know he wasn't supposed right. to be over there. But, you know, regardless of, of y'all's issues, Big Glow was no pushover. You know what I'm saying? Big Glow was not brand new. He was not... He was not oblivious to the, the reality of what was happening. And it's like, I interviewed this dude and he was so happy to be interviewed and so happy over, you know, transitioning to hip hop and everything else like that. Two days later, he's gone. Mm -hmm. He should have moved, he should have moved like Chief Keef shit. Like you say, he, he should have been like, oh, well, I don't, mm, 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 I'm gonna get the fuck on. He should have did that like Chief Keef did. Chief Keef rich, right? You say he rich, right? He should have moved uh, his cousin. He know his cousin signed the Glow Gang or whatever the fuck he is to him. He know he signed the Glow Gang. He should have moved him with him. He keep Tato and Ball out with him all the time. Why you ain't keep your cousin away from this shit? You should have kept, flew him out there with you and kept him away from Chicago. You, feel? you can't blame nobody else for nobody else's mistake. Now, at one point, you got stabbed by your girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Where did she stab you? In the stomach. In your stomach? Yeah, yeah. Can you can you actually show the stab wound? Hey, that bitch ain't my girl no more. Okay. Your ex. Don't call that bitch my ex. Just say that bitch. That bitch. Okay. Just say that girl okay. or something. What what exactly leads up to someone stabbing you in the a girl stabbing you in the stomach? I slapped the shit out of her face. I just grabbed that knife so fast and stabbed me in my stomach so fast. I had to look at the knife before I looked at that bitch. I said, "Bitch." Then my brother he didn't want to get my gun. I ain't gonna lie. At the moment, I fuck around with a dome dad. Phone up. But she lucky. I, she was already on King Drive by the time his bitch had gave my shit. So she actually shoved the, the knife right in your stomach. Yeah, yeah. Did it? Did it hit any uh, any organs or anything? Yeah, my bowels. She had me shit like a motherfucker. Wow, that 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 sounds that sounds horrible right there. Yeah. It felt horrible. Is that still something that you're that you feel to this day, or did it essentially heal up? No, nah, it healed up. You feel me? It be fucking with me a little bit, but not really. Uh, did she get charged with anything? Yeah, I ain't pressing charges on no bitch. They locked her ass up though. You know how my mama, my mama instantly wanted me to put the bitch in jail. But you know I ain't going to court on no bitch. That shit all that. Plus, I slapped that bitch first. She was defending herself. Shit. Okay, so you didn't press charges? Hell no. I ain't no bitch. <laughs>